Good afternoon. It's Tuesday, July 5th, 2011. I'm Jill Sealand with your Ernerberry Market Report, sponsored by NAMP's English Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide. Today, FoodMarket.com is reporting Wendy's Arby's Group Incorporated announced it has completed the sale of Arby's Restaurant Group on the terms previously announced to a buyer formed by Roar Capital Group, effective as of yesterday. In connection with the transaction, the company will change its corporate name to the Wendy's Company, effective today. You can get more on this story and other news from the center of the plate if you visit FoodMarket.com. Now, let's check out the markets. In the egg market, retail demand range is fair to fairly good. Wholesale trading activity is very limited this morning as traders analyze their current positions. The market is quiet. In reviewing Erner Berry's Weekly Insider's Red Meat Report, released last Friday evening on Comtel, we find in the beef market, beef cutouts traded at slightly lower levels leading up to the 4th of July holiday. Loin meat remained a fairly solid performer with top butts receiving a strong call. Ground beef values slipped late in the week. In the boneless market, fresh 90s opened last week with a weaker undertone. By Wednesday, it was apparent that demand was more active than originally expected, and prices trended higher. Fresh 50s were mixed last week. Looking at pork, as last week wore on, hog and cutout values fell together, maintaining poor operating margins as a result. The pork carcass cutout on Friday settled at 1.31 percent, decreased compared to last week's. In retail pork, in reaction to a soft demand and not wanting to go to the freezers with meat at current levels, sellers increasingly utilized discounts to spur movement. Tenderloins continue to move well at listed levels, with sirloins were discounted, but shed between 5 and 7 percent last week. St. Louis ribs and loin back ribs were both unchanged. Looking at poultry, for chicken, white meat items continue to be the least valuable parts of the bird last week, with tenders easy across most points of sale. Whole breasts were being discounted more regularly. Wogs were fairly snug, with whole birds close behind. Dark meat was in decent shape, with bone-in items balanced in particular. Wings were at least steady, especially on jumbos, where that appeared to be a firmer stance being portrayed by the seller. Talking turkey, parts were well-founded with a good mix of export and domestic needs, keeping inventories in close balance. Frozen breast meats and de-strapped tenders were rated about steady. Fresh breast meat was a bit steadier as compared to the pressure seen on frozen. Whole birds were rated steady to firm. Thigh meat remained snug and easily clearing at no less than full market values. For trends, charts, and further commentary, be sure to get the full version of Erner Berry's Weekly Insider's Red Meat Report on Comtel. Last up this afternoon is a look at market in Last week, beef was down 0.39%, pork was down 1.3%, chicken was down 1.8%, turkey was unchanged, and the egg index was up 1.8%. That wraps up Erner Berry's Market Report, brought to you today by NAMP's English-Spanish version of the Meat Buyer's Guide, featuring a side-by-side Mexican-Spanish translation of the English text. Call 800-932-0617 to get your guide today.